probably the best article to come across my desk this morning has been this piece over at Variety, talking about how James Mangold, the director of Indiana Jones 5, is shutting down trolling a-holes for spreading Indiana Jones 5 lies about Phoebe Waller-Bridge taking over. So this has been, if you've read Critical Drinker or all of these big YouTube channels who have been clamoring on about Indiana Jones 5 and all this stuff, as soon as the trailer came out, they immediately attacked the trailer and started saying ridiculous things about, see, look, she's taking over. Here's the proof. She's going to be the new Indiana Jones. They're killing off Indiana Jones. It's going to be a woke piece of garbage. They're going to put her in charge. Feminism is taking over. Kathleen Kennedy wants to kill Indiana Jones. They're going to put a woman in charge and make a woman Indiana Jones. <laughs> Where's your proof? Where is your proof? I also love the way that James Mangold has shut down the trolls. We're going to be reading through his commentary this morning because it really is a beautiful example of a director who knows how to deal with the online a-holes of the, of the world. Um, yes, rumors have been circulating for months alleging that Phoebe Waller-Bridge was going to be taking over the Indiana Jones franchise from Harrison Ford following the upcoming fifth installment. Um, those rumors intensified so much after the sequel's first trailer debuted on director on December 1st that director James Mangold took to Twitter to call out trolling assholes for, pretty, for spreading misinformation. I freaking love it. He says, one more time, no one is taking over or replacing. Or replacing any, excuse me, or donning his hat, nor is he being erased through some contrivance. And he never was, not in any cut, nor any script. But trolls will troll. That's how they get their clicks. I actually talked about this in the most recent coverage of the Indiana Jones 5 trailer because I watched the trailer and I was genuinely excited. I love Indiana Jones and I can't wait to see what's going to come out of it. I also really, really, really like um, Phoebe Waller-Bridge. Like if you've not watched some of the shows that she has created, this woman is a badass writer producer she has created some amazing television helped write the most recent um uh james bond film like she is just an all-around pretty badass female and people who are upset about that need to go back to the little troll caves mangold went on and said please don't exhaust me by pointing out how once in a while a troll is right even a blind squirrel finds a nut every now and then all one has to do is look at set photos and interviews, and you'll get enough info to make wild guesses about a movie plot. He then says, The difference between trolling assholes and everyone else is they are trying to make money off your feelings about other films and culture war politics. They push controversial guesses as coming from sources to gin up clicks. Let it go. I love this. I love it because he's so true. Especially, it's like recently anything that comes out from Disney is getting review bombed by these culture war people who have all of these supposed sources that they know who are who are somehow predicting all of these things that are happening. And I love that we finally have a director with the backbone to come out and say, "You're all wrong. You were never right in the first place." Harrison Ford is not being replaced in the role, so on and so forth. No one is taking over, replacing Indiana Jones, or donning his hat, nor is he being erased. It's just people in the culture war politics space pushing controversial guesses because it's Disney. And they have this agenda in their mind because they think that Disney has some sort of political agenda to take over the world with women and gays and transvestes and it's the funniest thing to listen to these people rant and rave so i support james mangold i support indy i support phoebe like i'm looking forward to indiana jones and i think it's going to be a great film and i think people need to stop making crap up um i said the other day if you haven't seen the film you have zero right to make any judgment calls about what the film is going to be like. You cannot make predictions about how the film is going to play out, especially when your sources are never identified and you never have any actual information to show to people. You're just making w guesses that align with whatever conspiracy of the week that you're believing in. So kudos to Mangold for actually standing up and 
and you know taking a stand against uh, these trolls because it needs to be done. Um, I'm glad to see that there are people out there who are willing to do this. And yes, you will lose people. You'll lose followers. I've lost followers in the last couple of weeks for the first time in like four years. I've actually had a negative follower count. I'll probably lose some more in this video too. And I don't really care. And it's because I'm pushing back against this idea that everything is somehow some woke agenda or woke politics project. It's just not true. I can't help it that your childhood was crushed and you can't take enjoyment from all of these amazing projects that are coming out like Indiana Jones and Star Wars and Star Trek and you know these are these are franchises that have existed since I was a kid and people like myself who are in that you know generation X bracket maybe even the the younger millennial or the older millennial bracket we grew up with these franchises and most of us are genuinely anticipating things like Indiana Jones 5 and all of the stuff that's coming out from Star Wars because we love these things. We go back to that that uh, phrase that I always like to quote, all Star Wars is good Star Wars. It's just that some Star Wars is better than other Star Wars. I had a great conversation with my brother actually. My brother's much younger than me. He's 13 years younger. He's definitely in a millennial camp. And um, we were talking about Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull. And I said, hey, what did you think about that movie? This is during our World of Warcraft live stream this morning. He's like, you know, I've watched it five or six times. And I think it's a pretty fun movie. It's obviously not as good as the originals in my mind, but it's still worth watching and rewatching. And I said, yes, it is. Thank you for saying that. It's not necessarily as good as the old ones, but it's still worth watching. And this new one is going to be no different. It's the evolution of the character. There was also the evolution of the character through the Indiana Jones, the young Indiana Jones Chronicles that Sean Patrick Flannerly did, which I've talked about. Matter of fact, I need to, um, I need to talk about that on my, uh, it's not a science fiction show, but I've been doing those, that, that review series on best science fiction shows or my favorite, favorite science fiction shows. I can't talk. My favorite science fiction shows over the years. And I think I need to talk about the Young Indiana Jones Chronicles. That was a great series that broke a lot of ground, both in special effects and storytelling in a television format, but also because um, those some of those episodes were used in universities and school settings to teach aspects of history because they did unique, you know, branches where he would go off and meet a certain person in France or Germany or wherever and he would have these interactions with them during the time period that they were alive and it was just a really fun project so the Indiana Jones character has been around for a long time he's gone through a lot of iterations and all Indiana Jones is good Indiana Jones it's just that some Indiana Jones is better than others I for one can't wait for the film to come out nor will I be passing judgment on the film until it comes out because I couldn't possibly have any means of knowing in advance what the film is going to be out, much less look at a trailer and somehow make some sort of ridiculous claim that, look, there's the proof. Phoebe Waller, she's taken, she's taken over from Harrison Ford. She's going to become the next Danny. Just see, this is exactly what we told you. Kathleen Kennedy's ruined it. It's the feminists taking over. Rah, woke agenda. Rah, get out of here. If you too are looking forward to Indiana Jones 5 like I am, like, subscribe, hit that bell icon below, support with a super thanks, super chat, sticker, or a membership, depending on how you're watching the channel here, and hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. Until then,